you rose in the affairs of men. You control the whole universe. Lord, once you have spoken, twice we have heard that power belongs to you. Lord, through your word, this hour, release power. Release healing. Release deliverance. Release breakthrough. Release salvation. Release anointing. Release grace in abundance. Father, open the heart of your people to receive your word. Father, speak through me to your people. Both the hearer and the speaker. Father, at the end of our day, count us what in your kingdom. My Lord and my God, the word that we're going to say or the word that we're going to hear today, don't let it stand against us at the end of our day, but let it part our way in the day or in the last day of our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satan will rebuke you in this house right now. You have no part in this place. You spirit of, you spirit of lukewarmness, you spirit of disturbance, you spirit of conviction, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We ask the Spirit of God to come down right now. The Spirit of peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take me aside. Let your people begin to see you, not me. Father, speak to your people yourself. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let a church say a louder Put your hands together, put your hands together, put your hands together. Bless you in Jesus' name. I take note of something. Anytime we are doing Oluwada Simi on Saturday, that is second Saturday, the following Sunday, the house will not fill. People will not come to serve their God on Sunday. Uluwada Simi has its own time. Church Sunday service has its own time. And it has their different thing. The angel of Saturday is different to the angel of Sunday. Sunday is to worship God. Like yesterday, we are here to pray. We are here for deliverance, for healing. We are here for prophecy. We are here for vision. But Sunday... Is what God requested that we should come before Him and serve Him. When we are coming from where we traveled to yesterday, there's a case that we are playing the car that since the COVID, things have turned upside down. And a lot of people are still holding uh, COVID as an excuse. COVID has come. COVID have done his own work. It's, an, it's a messenger and he has gone. So we that is still remaining on earth, we should not use COVID as an excuse. As I told you that the world now is turning upside down. You will see it in some churches, pastors begin to fight against pastors. I was discussing with Brother Femi this morning when we were coming why churches are now attacking churches why pastors are left the thing the assignment that god gave it to them that jesus gave it to us why would we left it behind and we begin to attack ourselves why we begin to look into our self mistake and error why are we confused the people of the church the members of the church amen so, Brother Femi was asking me that um, uh, the Muslim people that are not that I say everybody. Imam are attacking Imam. Churches are attacking churches. The only people that I see that they don't attack themselves is the Abalics. They know in their kingdom they are one. But why we that preaching the gospel 
to people that are telling them that our God, our Jesus is good. Why are we attacking ourselves? Why pastors are attacking pastors? Why on the table, on the altar of God, we don't have the word of God to preach to people that to attack another church, than to attack another pastors? This one, all the pastors that is doing it, they have to go and check themselves. If, if this message can reach them, which you change our method to begin to attack ourselves. Leave man of God to God. The judgment of man of God is not in the hand of anyone. The Bible makes me to understand that you that want to remove speck from, your, from people's eyes, he said first remove your own. But the only thing now we are attacking ourselves. Members have confused. They don't know to, where to go. They don't know the right church to go. Why? Because when they go to the church, there is no word from the, from the Bible, from the altar. The only thing we attack, we attack, we attack. You didn't preach well. You turned the Bible. That is not your business. I'm appealing to every, most especially, place media, send this across. All our pastors in Nigeria, the big men of God, the categories in the Nigeria, we should stop attacking ourselves. Preach the word of God to the people of God. Don't allow the unbeliever to mess us up. The shame is too much. The shame is too much. The journalists now have to be inviting them to a, a TVC to be interview them. Why this? Why that? Why this? It is not supposed to be so. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. That is not the place where I'm going this morning. But why I'm saying this, the topic of today's message will be based on examine yourself and amend your ways. Examine yourself and amend your way. That is the theme of today's message. That is why I just send the, that short message across to all the pastors, all the big men of God that are attacking themselves. We should stop attacking. We should, we should not leave the, the, the altar of God and begin to serve table, begin to serve mammon. We should not be an antichrist preacher. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Say louder, amen, please. Um, last week, one of our brother is not here when we announced him. Maybe you have seen it on the YouTube or maybe uh, someone have told him uh, that he will be a uh, choir a uh, patron. Why, Sister... Uh, Toyobo will be the matron of the choir. But we mentioned his name last week, but he's not here by then. Uh, the person is Brother Bona Chuku Waka. Am I right? Let's put our hands together. Please put your hands together. Choir, let's work on him. Just go there, shake his hand, work on him. He's, he's going to be the patron for the choir. As I stand up, sir, let them hug you. I don't like the way choir is doing in this house. I say you should go there and shake hand to him. You can come to the front to take the picture if you are taking it so that they can see their, their face. Amen. So, uh, Brother uh, Bona, what is happening is there's a sister, Sister Toyobo, who brought a uh, uniform for the choir. She has been doing it since uh, he joined this church for the past 10 years. And uh, we are now seeing it that, okay, this is the crucial time for, we to, to, for them to have a matron and patron. So uh, you are the patron by the special grace of God. Sister Toyobo is matron. You will meet her one day. She's not here today, but she was here last week. So you will... Uh, be taken to what is happening in choir 
if choir need anything, if there's any, but mommy is the uh, minister that governor the choir. So which means you and Sister Toyoba are working together with mommy to make sure that the choir, our choir will be standard choir. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. The Lord will give you the strength and the ability. The Lord will grant you the grace, sir. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Let's put our hands together again in Jesus' name. And please, before we go, if you are not in the usher department, once you come into the church, don't be roaming about, please. People are complaining when they watch our service on YouTube or Facebook. They used to call me that people are walking about and quiet place if you are here don't let anybody disturb your discussing with you when they are discussing they are they are seeing it that we are not organized so let the choir be quiet don't let anybody disturb anybody in the choir so please apart from you want to go to toilet or whatever don't be roaming about anyhow apart from the usher so that people will not be complained so people will like to wash our service maybe during the service or after the service that is the comments they are sending to us that people are too roaming about in the church please let us control that it shall be well with us in jesus name praise the lord examine yourself and amend your ways i think this message will take us about maybe part one part two part three and part four which is very important for we Christian of nowadays. Examine yourself and amend your way just like a MOT. Maybe when you are driving and you hear some noise or strange noise through your car, you will slow. Listen to what is happening in the car, yes or no. And if that noise is continue, the next thing in the next nearest uh, service uh, station, you can park and check. So maybe if they can now take you to where you are going and you come back, the next thing you go to your, uh, to go to the garage, they will check it. And when it is time, maybe a year or after some six months, I don't know the, um, the year they will give in to your six months, you go and do the MOT of your car, yes or no? So if now the, in the garage, your car did not pass the MOT, they will fix what is happening or damage in that car before they can pass the MOT. So also, we Christian, we ask to examine ourselves. We ask to examine ourselves, then we amend our way. Jeremiah 17, verse 1 to 8. Jeremiah 17, verse 1 to 8. Jeremiah 17, verse 1 to 8. Praise God. Jeremiah 17, verse 1 to 8. The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron. With the point of a diamond, it is engraved on the tablet of their hearts and on the horns of your altars. Where their children remember their altars and their wooden image by the green trees on the high hills. Oh, mount, oh, my mountain, oh, my mountain in the field, I will give as plunder your wealth, all your treasures, and all your high place, places of sin within all your borders and you and you even yourself shall let go of your heritage 
which I gave you, and I will cause you to serve your enemy in the land which you do not know. Say, God forbid. Say, it will not be my portion. You will not serve your enemy. I will not serve my enemy in the name of Jesus. For you have kindled a fire in my hunger, which I burn forever. Please examine your way. If you don't want this war to come to pass over your life, over your, the plans of God upon you. Thus said the Lord, cause is the man who trusts in man and make flesh his strength. I haven't finished it, please. Don't be faster. Who make man, who make man his flesh? Whose heart depart from the Lord? Stop there. Cause is the, the thou said the Lord, cause is the man who trusts in man and make flesh his strength, whose heart depart from the Lord. The Bible says we should not trust in ourselves, but don't, don't put them in the place of God. Don't put man in the place of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, let me explain that place. Now, Brother Labat, please come. You know, I like to demonstrate my message so you will understand. If Brother Labat, God sent him to me in time of my need or in time of my worriness, and he have delivered the message, he have released what God sent him to do in my life, so what the Bible is said, where the Bible is said is, I should not put him in the place of God. I should not worship him more than my maker. That time that I'm still looking towards him, what God asked him to do in your life, he have done it. Now in the in the in the sight of God, God have using him and have taken away from your side. Now, God is still sending Brother Bimbola to you for another help. But if you rely on him, he may not do what he has done for you before. Why? Because God has finished with him of helping you. Are you listening to me? Is that clear? So that is why the Bible says, Cause is the man who trusts in man. I may flesh a strength. Oh, brother, I have done it for me before. I will see go to him. He may not do it. Why? Because he has finished his own assignment in your life. If you read the book of First King 17, don't go there. You will see that stage by stage of Elijah. God used, after he had declared the famine, isn't it? He went to a brook. Then he was drinking water there, isn't it? So when God had finished with him with the water, the water do what? It dried. Now remain the board that is bringing food for him, isn't it? So when God now finished with the board, he now provides for him another widow to provide for his need is stage by stage is that cleared so god don't want us to rely on man god don't want us to make a, to make flesh our strength god want us to rely on him totally god know the people that we send to you that after you have delivered the message, he will not begin to use you or to harass you or to tell you if not because of me. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm the one who make you. I'm the one who do this. It is not you, it is God. If God did not permit you, you won't do it. So God now was telling us, Cause is the man who trusts in the man and make flesh his strength. Who shall depart from the Lord? I remember 2010. 
I was my, my enemy. Let's say my enemy was in, 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 in distress. No helper, nothing. And I was in a place whereby the even though a prophet was telling my wife to go and bring my shoe, uh, bring my picture. And <laughs> when they sent to me, I said, Mommy, don't send my picture to any pastor or prophet. If they cannot pray for me to be delivered here, don't give anybody my picture. I didn't say it's not good when they ask for your picture, but some, pic some pastors or prophets will use your picture against you when they are jealous the grace of God that was upon you. Are you listening to me? Now I begin to pray for mercy, for favor, for four and a half months. To my own surprise, the people that I did not know at all, God sent them my way. The people I did not hope in my diary, I did not, their name is not there. I didn't think of them. When I began to pray for help, begin to pray for mercy, direction, oh God, settle me, oh God, release me, oh God, and God send helper from nowhere. And since they released that help, that they have done what God has sent them, I never set my eyes on them since 2018. Where am I going this morning is examine your way. Examine yourself and amend your way. Am I still with God? Did I, did I, did I pertain to the thing of the kingdom? Am I on the track? That is what we are saying. Am I for God? I am or am I for the world? So, number six. For he shall be like a strew in the desert and shall not see when good comes. That is, if you rely on man, if you make man your strength. You can read this scripture when you get home or any scripture that I will use to, 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 to support this message. Do you put on the heater? If you put it on, please off it. And shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the, the patched place in the wilderness, in a salt land, which is not inhabited. It will not be our portion. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, because you trust in him, round about we bless, round about we have peace, round about help us from, from every look and corner we come to you. Help us when you trust in him. Help us from every look and corner. I want us in the new life in Christ's ministry. Why am I preaching this message? I told you before. Go and ask the people, the old members of this show, brother, that they can testify. I can preach a message that will make you to smile. and begin to, tear will begin to come out. Sister Shea, is it true? <laughs> no, I can preach the old, God, the old counsel of God. I can preach a message, you will laugh, 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 you will blow whistle where you are. You will forget your bag where you are going. But that is not the one we are preaching now. If you want me to entertain you, I can do that. Say entertainment. I'm telling you. I love jest too much. If I start with you, since such a day, I think you are still here in the early days. Isn't it? When I'm preaching, ask them. You will laugh, 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 you forget your bag. But at the end, sir, it's nothing. Empty. Then by now we say, oh, Pastor Joshua, right down. There'll be blow whistle. Brrr. <laughs> Amen. But that is not the way you are here, B, isn't it? It's here. They will laugh, 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 laugh. 
They won't, they won't let the message to finish, isn't it? Sister Abiola, is it it? If I say this, the, the, to round it up, you say, no, daddy, no, don't round it up. But it can't take us to anywhere. Just entertainment. But our assignment is to reconcile God's people back to him with undiluted words. The word that will begin to sink in your heart, in your ear, in your heart, in your ear. My brothers knows me from when I'm crumb. So he know the type of person I am. So for God to arrest me, to preach to you, is not an easy thing. Mommy was telling me this morning, only, <laughs> we are talking. Mommy said, who can advise you? Anything you wanted to do, there is no any amount of talk, 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 talk. Eh? Amen. I think you hear now. I said to you this. Amen. So what am I saying? Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope, whose hope is in the Lord. You rely on him. He said, my people will never be put to shame. When you put your trust in him, Christ in us is hope of glory. Blessed is the man, seven, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Go back to seven. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. When you trust in him, you are blessed. You will have peace. Land about. Nothing will shake you. Nothing will move you. Psalm 1 verse 3. Then we come back to 7. Psalm 1 verse 3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. The man that put his trust in God. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season. Whose, whose leaf also shall not winter. Even though the dry season, he says, and whatever it does shall prosper. Why? Because you put your trust in him. I decree to every members of this church under the sound of my voice, from this moment, whatever you do, you will prosper. Whatever you do, you will succeed. Whatever you do, you will make it. I pray for you, peace of God will rule your life. You will never struggle again in Jesus' name. You will never sweat again in Jesus' name. Everywhere that you put your head, door will open for you in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 17, verse 8 now. Jeremiah 17, verse 8. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters. He repeated it again. Quick spread out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes. Why you make him your trust? In the time of scarcity, go and look at the book of Isaiah. He said, my people will eat in plenty. They will suffer. He's there. That is why I ask you today, Examine yourself and make your way. Stop struggling. Amen. Mommy, like all the men of this church, too much. What did I say? What did I say? Ask me why. Yesterday, 
in our hotel room, mommy says, Daddy, we are going, uh, the, all the women is going for retreat on Friday. I say, yes. He said, please call all the men on Friday and to do vigil with them. He said, while we are away, let all the men also gather and do vigil with them. Did he love you? Huh? Then mommy was saying to me, look at the men that came out yesterday. He said they are our men, but some of them are sovereign underneath. He said, Daddy, please have time for them this Friday. Call all of them. Let's pray together. And I told her, I will do that. I want us to rely on God. I want us to trust in him. Amen. For it shall be like a tree planted by the river, by the, by the waters, which spread out its, its root by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green in the dry season, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will it cease from yielding. Why? Because you put your trust in him. Why? Because you make him your hope. Why? Because you hacking unto him. Why you are saying that come turn, come rain, nothing will make me to depart from you. Praise God. Let's go past nine. The, the heart is deceitful above, deceitful above all things. And desperately wicked, who can know it? Yes, I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind, even to give every man according to his way, according to the fruit of his doing. Examine yourself, amend your way. God said, go back, God said here that I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind even to give every man according to his way. Turn to your neighbor, say, examine yourself and amend your way. Either we like it or not, God will require from us. I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind even to give every man, every man, according to his way. God will not judge the two of them together separately. We are discussing about two of our pastors here The time they come, they didn't know themselves from nowhere. That is why, please and please, don't collaborate with evil. I was telling Brother Femi this morning. They don't know themselves, but they came to this house. All of a sudden, they came together with evil mind, with evil discussion. Let us go and start our own ministry. Let us go and start our own ministry. Sister Bumi called them when he had. He talked to them, begged them. The one said, no, God have called me. God, the other one said, no, 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 do this and that. But the two of them are suffering now. They are going through hell. I'm not mocking them. But what I'm trying to say, don't collaborate with evil. God will judge everyone separately. If someone is telling me now, say, bro, but now it's not good. I won't accept it. Ask me why. Because you haven't done it to me. So why am I going to agree with you? It may not be good to you, it may be good to me. 
Maybe there's something you do to him that is not good to you. So he didn't do it to me. Are you listening to me? Exodus 25. Can you quickly give me Exodus 25 from verse 21? Uh, from verse 1, if I may correct. Exodus 21. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they know. No, is it 25? Let me quickly see it. Exodus. Praise God. I want to show you something so that you should not, you should examine yourself and amend your way. You examine yourself, you amend your way. You examine yourself, you amend your way. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen and amen. I'll quickly give it to you. Sorry for that. I want to show you something so that we should be very, very careful. Very, very careful. I think 23. Yes, 23. Sorry, not 25. 23. Exodus 23. Exodus 23. What did it say? Can we read together, please? Examine yourself and do what? Amend your way. Are we, are we there? Can we read it together? You shall not circulate a false report. Who says so? Talk to me. Who says so? Who says so? Yes, you shall not circulate a false report. Uh -huh. Do not put your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Examine yourself. Amend your way. Do not circulate what you did not see, what you did not know. Don't be witness to it. God will judge everyone according to your way. Am I speaking this morning? Let's go. No, no, no. Give us one. Why are you? The time you're supposed to move faster, you didn't move faster. Okay, go to two. Let's go. You shall not follow a crowd to do. You shall not follow a crowd to do what? You shall not follow a crowd to do what? Who says so? Who says he will judge everyone according to his way? Let's go. Nor shall you testify in a dispute so as to turn aside after many to pervert justice. Three. You shall not show partiality to a poor man in is dispute. Go back to Jeremiah for me. Examine yourself and amend your way. God is always turned by the right people. He said, my people will never be put to shame. Neither will be disgraced. Do you want to move forward? Do you want to reach your goal? Do you want to stop struggling? Do you, do you don't want to sweat again? Examine yourself and mend your way. I'm always saying this in this house. When you bend down, looking someone anus, thousands of people is looking at yours. Am I speaking? Now, I the Lord sat the heart and test the mind, even to give every man according to his way according to the fruit of his doing, according whatever you sow, you will reap it. There's a scripture in the book of, um, I think I say three, verse 10 or so, don't go there. It says, you that destroy people, the day you stop destroying people, that day, 
they will destroy you. Amen. Verse 11. As a patriot that brooks but does not hash, hinge, so is he who gets riches, but not by right. It will leave him in the midst of his day, and at his end, he will be a fool. That is the people that make rituals. Do you want to reach your goal in the journey of 2024? Please um, examine yourself and amend your way. What is it that you are doing that when you pray, God will not hear? Examine yourself. What is it that makes you to be struggling? Please examine yourself. What is it that won't allow you to reach your goal on time? Examine yourself. You have crossed in over to this year. And God has promised us a lot of things in this new year. The year is full of the promise of God. And I want every one of us to receive what God has promised us. But examine yourself. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. In Exodus 23, verse 20 to 29, you can write, write it down. Let me read one, maybe one or two. Exodus 23, that we read before, if you look at verse 20, verse 20, he said, Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which, which I have prepared. God has prepared a better place for us this year. All what you need to do is examine yourself and amend your way. Beware of him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him, for he will not pardon you. Pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. God has promised a lot of us, but when God now open your files and he, he, he see what you have done, your way is not perfect, your way is not right, you are not correct before him, how do you want him to answer your prayer? Examine yourself. Examine yourself. Luke 15, verse 17. The man said, he, come back, he came back to himself. Brethren in the Lord, why can't you and I come back to our senses, come back to ourselves? Why can't you see that, that what I am doing, am I right? What I am doing, is it correct? Why can't you talk to yourself? Luke 15, verse 17 says, but when he came to himself, why can't, you, why can't you think one day? Why can't you think one day? Why am I parabolating? Why my prayer is not answered? Examine yourself and amend that way. Yield to your God, to your maker. He knows what to do. Remove your hand for destroying people. Remove your hand for attacking people. Don't circulate any false, false, false uh, information. Don't let me tell you that evil information or bad information travel far, isn't it? But the good one will not travel far. You are not there. They tell you one. You add curry and pepper and you are spreading it. I was telling mommy yesterday that the people in Nigeria... If you have been to Nigeria, you will see that there's a lot of struggling. But ma, they have money to buy data to spread news. Eh? What do you call this, ma? Yes, bad news. For them to eat, if you see them, they dry. But for them to spread news, they, I, I was telling mommy, why, me, why, why am, am I saying mommy, mommy, mommy yesterday? Yeah, that we talked yesterday. At times in a month, we may not see each other. You know I work. When mommy leaves 5 o'clock, it will come around 10 p.m. So 10 p.m. when we come, I'm sleeping. 11 p.m., 
I go back, I go to my prayer room. By the time I will finish here, mommy is preparing to go to work again. So each time that we come together, we talk. That is why we say we talk yesterday, we talk yesterday, we talk yesterday. Amen. And you know, three days now, he's leaving me again until Sunday. Isn't it? Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So, the Bible said, but when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's higher servant have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger. Brethren, people that don't know God, God said to them, you can ask me how. Next week I will show you the scripture. Because God said in that scripture that the people that don't ask me, I will show mercy to them. What of we, the son? What of we, the daughter? Examine yourself. Amend your way. The book of Luke said, said the people who know the people who know the word, their punishment will be, will be many. But those who did not know it, their punishment will be few. For example, for example, Sarah doubts, isn't it? And God said you laugh, he denied, making two offenses, isn't it? Uh, the Shunammite woman told Elisha he doubts, isn't it? Now, Prophet Zachariah doubts God. What happened to him? He got his judgment immediately. Ask me, why did he got judgment? Because he's a prophet, he hear from God, he know when God speak. But Sarah, um, the Shunammite woman, they did not know God, they did not know how, the way God is talking, they are past, but you, and you see the angel on the altar, and God say, okay, because you doubt me, till the child will be born, you'll be deaf and moved. The same punishment did not give them judgment. So, we that know him, we that according ourselves, the, the children of God, the punishment will be many than the people that don't know him. That is why I bring this message to us. I am appealing to us. Examine yourself and amend your way. Are you listening to me? I will rise, I will arise and go to my father. Is God. Jesus is using this as illustration. Brethren, today I am appealing to you. Examine yourself. Are you still with God? Are you, are you still in Christ? Is Christ living in you? Your characters, your behaviors to people, did they reflect the characters of Jesus? Pastor, what you are preaching, did they reflect to people outside? Did they reflect to your wife in the house? Your children? Amen. I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. And he did. He examined himself and he amended his way. First, he said, How many of my fathers hired half bread enough and I'm done in hunger? Brethren, don't you know that God is not happy about your condition? Don't you know that God don't want anybody to tamper with you? Oh, let me shock you with this. And it's not a shock. We know it already. Unless if you want to deny it. Sir, do you know that when you, when you, if you don't fulfill destiny or not, you can't make heaven? How many of us know that? 
Raise your hand if you know that. <laughs> if you don't fulfill destiny, you can't make heaven. So don't allow them to destroy your destiny. Masheri talenti emale arakuni oluwa yo bere lo wore on to fi se. Don't bury your talent. God will ask you, what do you use it for? And Jesus used the illustration in the book of Matthew that a, a man is traveling. He gave one ten talents, isn't it? He gave one five talents. He gave one one, isn't it? So the one that they give one, bury it and receive cause when the master came back. You want to receive blessing? You welcome my good servant and turn to your father's palace. Examine yourself and amend your way. I will arise and go to my father I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, he confess his sin. And the Bible makes me to understand in 22 that when he, he, he saw his father, the father, hugged, the father embraced him. He hugged him. He pecked him. What happened? But the father said to the son, no, give me 20. Let's, before, because, because of time, we have five minutes more. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Who is that father they are talking about? God is waiting for you. God is what? Ezekiel 3, verse 11. Then I will come back to 21. Ezekiel 33, verse 11. What did he say? What did he say quickly? Ezekiel 33, verse 11. Quickly. What did he say? Says to them, Joshua says to my people, as I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure. Sir, ma. If we don't fulfill destiny, God is not happy. If we don't make it in life, God is not happy. If people did not glorify God in you, man, God is not happy. If you allow the devil to waste and useless you, God is not happy. Anything that anything, anytime that anything is happened to you, sir, don't fold your hand. Don't say that that's how God wanted. God wants no evil for everybody. Emma, when he created you, he brought you before himself and he brings from his own notaries to your own notary. There is no evil within. The Bible said darkness did not dwell within, light dwell within. So what he has, the good thing that he has, he breathes into you, you become a living being, and he look at you and bless you. Be fruitful, be multiplied, be increased, have dominion over everything that I've created. Why the thing that God created have dominion over us? Examine your way. And I'm, examine yourself and amend your way. The book of James says, every good gift comes from where? From above. The book of Matthew says, when men slept, the enemy came and so tars. So is it God that so tars? Let's check ourselves. Let's amend our way. Say to them as I live, says the Lord, God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. I will stop here. We start from 21 next week. Did I speak to you this afternoon? Did I offend you today? Can we continue the message? Or we should stop it? Can we continue? Stop it, sir. Oh, you can't say it. <laughs> Praise God. 
says to them as I live, said the Lord, God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. And God has no pleasure if you don't, if you don't fulfill destiny. God has no pleasure when you seek. God has no pleasure when COVID-19 COVID destroys so many people. God has no pleasure when the enemy is saying, where is your God? And you cannot say to them that my God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. God has no pleasure when you are weeping, when you are crying. God, God has no pleasure when the enemy is making you, to, to harassing you, making to be afraid. God has no pleasure in it. God is not happy about your condition, about your struggling, about your poverty. God has no, no pleasure. He has no pleasure in it at all. But that the wicked you turn from is wicked. Way. Amend, examine yourself. Amend your way. God is talking about ways. And leave. Turn, turn from your evil ways. For why should you die, O house of the new life in Christ ministry? Next week we start from Jeremiah 17, isn't it? Stand on your feet. Examine yourself and amend your ways. Examine yourself and amend your way. I want you to pray this prayer. When you are alone, in your closes, what do you do? But when you are outside, you are another thing. When you come to the house of God, you are another person. When you are outside there, you are a different person. When you are in your house alone, you are totally be another person. A sister came here, maybe the old person, the old member we remember. When the time of testimony, the sister is trying to testify here and his landlord came by then. I don't know their quarreling. And the man took the microphone from her hand. He said, I did not come to this job because of you. How many of us remember? He said, I did not come to this church because of you. He said, you gave me flyer of this church long time. He said, because you always cause in the house. How many of us remember? Brother, do you remember? We came here together, isn't it? Hey, he's here. We came here together. Okay, you join us here. Here, the man took the microphone from the sister. He said, I'm not coming. I didn't come to this. You didn't invite me. You have been giving me the flyer of this church. I didn't mind you. He said, church, this woman is a wicked woman. Always cursing. Always fighting. He says, it's an animal. So I say, here, here, here. Here. I'm telling you honestly. He said, so she has been inviting me, inviting me. I said, ah. As this woman is behaving in the house, so is pastor will behave, you know. He said, but when someone invites me, the same church, the same name, I said, okay. He sent his wife. Then he, he, his wife came for about two months, and the wife began to give him the report of the church, the report of the, some of the members, the report of the the man of God and his wife, then the man came. And the day that the man came, the woman came out to say, I, I invited, I invited. The man said, he didn't invite me. He said, any man cannot invite me. I'm telling you honestly, I'm in the presence of God. I didn't know that they are quarreling. That is the end of the story. Who are you? 
when you are in your house? Who are you when you are outside? I learned lesson today. You know, I'm always telling you the truth. And by telling my truth, I'm confessing my sin to you and to God. We are buying something in the shop. And I collect pen from the woman. I'm writing something. And a white man stood behind me. So, mommy said, Pastor, be quick. I wrote what I want to write. And I silently, and the man just came forward. I said, Mommy, these people are having patience too. So, he want to buy something and he allow me to do. Mommy says, Today I tell you, it's you that don't have patience. I said, I don't have food. <laughs> Mommy says, If it is you, you collapse. I said, I will talk. Or, guy, you don't stay long there. But the man, so please, the white. And the pastor who writes in the press of God. Who? And the Bible tells me as a man of God in the book of James that I should be patient. Abisa. And he say in all things, don't be anxious. So who, who, who practice the standard of God there, sir? The white man. And when God is blessing them, you will say, ah, they are not going to church, but you are going to church. You didn't practice the standard of God. Am I right? There's a difference between you and Christian and not practicing. And non-Christian and practicing. I told mommy, I said, mommy, I learned lesson. I will be patient. Amen. It is true. I will say, oh God, please, please, people are here. I will forget that I'm a man of God. I say, sir, please, you are disturbing us. And I will squish my face. You are disturbing us. <laughs> but he exercised patience. And he too want to, brother, me, were you not there? And mommy says, ah, then when, I say, mommy, so this man want to buy something. Mommy, I think, I, I say, I told you. You didn't exercise patience. I say, I didn't have food. <laughs> Father, give me the spirit of patience. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. I want you to raise up our hand. Jeremiah 1 17. I want us to use it to pray. Jeremiah 1 17. Then we close the meeting. I want us to read it yourself. Let's go. Therefore, prepare. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who is talking here? Who is talking here? To who? Huh? Did God say we prepare you? Prepare myself. Huh? I should be prepared. God has created you. God has given you everything that you need. He left for you to choose where you are going. Let's go. Therefore, prepare yourself and arise and speak to them all that I command you. Do not be dismayed before their faces, lest I dismay you before them. Raise up your hand. Say, Father, from this moment, prepare me. In the name of Jesus, ask God to prepare you so that you can amend your way, so that you can, you can, you can examine yourself. Father, prepare me, oh God. Therefore, prepare yourself. Lord, you are talking of preparation. Prepare me, oh God, for your kingdom. Prepare me to preach the gospel. Prepare me to use me all over the world. Prepare me for revival. Prepare me for crusade. Prepare me to speak your word, undiluted word. Lord, the mystery of your word, my father. Prepare your church, the new life in Christ's ministry. Lord, enlarge the course of this church. Lord, let there be expansion and explosion in this church. Let there be revival. Lord, you I pray. Every members of this church, my father, prepare us, O oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Shout, I will make it. Shout, I will reach there. Shout, I will make heaven. At the end of my life, put your hands together. Let's be seated. If you came late to this house today, you are not yet drop your offering and your tithes. 
quiet place within two minutes. Let's do so. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you rise up on our feet as we give God our offering? One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire, that as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire, that as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. want to say thank you for your word that you sent to our means today. Lord, as the prodigal son came to himself and said, I will arise and go to my father. So also, Father, we preach the word to your people Open our heart for your word. Let this word begin to sand in our hearts. Let this word begin to ring like a bell in our heart. Let this word begin to boil like a hot water in our hearts. Father, through your word, help us to amend our way. Through your word, help us to come to ourselves. Father, this is our offering and the tithes. Touch it with your finger. Bless the hand that have done this. Open every closing door for opportunities. Father, take us to the next level. My Father, I pray, let this week speak for us. Lord, we ask for divine visitation this week. Let everyone under the sound of my voice, both on air and on ground, Father, have an encounter with you this week. My Father, Lord, in return, let us come back to this house, glorify your name. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Please, before we share the grace, all the men of this house, Brother Alaba, please, you are the men, uh, leaders, and Brother Femi, your assistants, text all the men today on Friday, 11 p.m. Let's meet together, 11 to 1. Let's meet together here and pray. Amen. So, Mommy, I brought it into my notice why the women are doing vigil in their camp. So, let us come here and pray also. We are the pillar of the house. We are the pillar of the house. When we are in Germany, I 
have six men. They line up. We didn't call them. They just came in a different way. And they said that they, for the next six months, we pay for the light. The other one said for the next six months after him, I will pay for the light. I think one of them have came here and explained to us about the new life in Christ's ministry. That is what I want for the men of this house. We are the pillar. And we suppose to have what it will take us to control our home and to be a man both outside and inside. I want the men of this place to prosper in all their ways. So please, let's come here on Friday. Brother Naba will text it out 11 p.m. We are coming to pray. We are coming for deliverance. We are coming to tell the devil, enough is enough. Leave my business. Leave my work. And it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. And please, if you promise us in any form about the projects, this, the, the people they are coming back on the 29th of this month to finish all their work. And anyway, we are we are violated their agreements. So from June now, they begin to charge us. They give us six months if we can meet up that they will not charge us our uh, interest. But 90% of those who promise us, 90%, they did not uh, respond. I think I told Sister Bumi three weeks ago, Sister Shola Siba, Dick Nesla with me to help me. I give them the pledge card to call the people to just pray for them. They remind them, to remind them and some of them they said to them, give us the accounts up to now. We have not seen anything. And I'm appealing to every member, anytime they ask us to do something, they ask of God, if you know you are not going to respond, don't come out. So let us know the number of the people that could, because the more you come out, people will be counting. You will be counting, okay, you will be counting. You understand? And what they are counting, you don't respond. It's only 10%. I respond and the Bible make me to understand it's better you you don't vow that you vow you don't pay all these things we are going to hear it in examine yourself and amend your way at time it is not an enemy that blocking us it is what we ourselves did that blocking the progress I pray the Lord we have mercy on us it shall be well with you so please if you if you promise us, like yesterday, whatever you promise, please let's begin to have it. By this week, we will start to be painting the house. It shall be well with us. Those who God have used, I pray that we, the hand of God will continue to be upon you. I pray that the, 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 your way will be opened. Rain of blessing, mercy will fall on you. You will never struggle, you never lack. I never see those who do for God that God forget, forget them. I never see. So wait for your time. Your time is coming. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, or the sweet fruit of the Holy Spirit, be with me right now and forevermore. Amen. Surely His goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, examine yourself and amend your way. Say, neighbor, don't know that I like you and I want to make it in life. But there's something that between you and your maker. The thing is, examine yourself and amend your way. Say, neighbor, Luke 15, verse 17, says, The man said, when he came to himself, I will arise and go to my father. My neighbor, come to yourself today. Amend your way and you shall prosper. Begin to bless your neighbor. Begin to say something into his life. Say something reasonable. Say something wonderful. 
Say something glorious to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor it shall be well with you. The God Almighty will bless you. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. As we are going right now into the world, Jesus Christ said that he did not say you should take them, take them away from the world, but keep them, protect them from the world. I pray the angel of God will go ahead of us. This week, the angel of God will open doors of opportunity for us. I pray for everyone in this house this week. As we are leaving this place, the presence of God will go with us. Favor will locate us. Grace will speak for us. I pray that whoever that, will, that want to hinder the promise of God and whatever God has half in plan for us, whoever that we hijack it, the Lord will tie them down. I pray as you are going this week, nation will celebrate you. I pray your family will celebrate you. You and I, we will come back testify this week. So shall it be. For in Jesus' wonderful, mighty name, I have decreed. Elada, God bless you in Jesus' name.